Hi, my name is Holly Jane and I'm passionately in love with dance. I hope that I can create a successful career for myself within the dance industry, whether it be teaching or performing or having my own dance studio and creating a business for what I love to do. My first experience with dance happened in grade nine when I signed up for my first real dance class. I was terrified. I was so terrified when I walked into that room and I didn't understand why we had to take our shoes off. Because to me, the only form of dance I was familiar with was hip hop and I had my shoes on all the time. City Dance Corps is a uh, training company in Toronto and I was invited to audition three years ago by Melissa Nascimento and I successfully got through and I've been training here ever since. I had a tough time growing up. My parents were split up, so my mother struggled financially, and when I wanted to be in dance class, I couldn't be. When I was in, I'd say, grade six to grade eight, I'd have the older girls come and tell me that I was a slut and that I was a whore. And at this age, I didn't even know what those things were. I just knew they were bad. And I think that reputation was based purely on my blonde hair and the pink dresses I used to wear. That's it. So then during recess, when I was by myself, um, sulking, I would um, put dances together by myself and then I started accumulating friends and I'd start uh, putting choreography on them and we would perform at recess on the grass <laughs> after I regained my friends back after all the horrible nasty things that the older girls said. The biggest struggle I have with dance is the continuous self-confidence issues that I have and the, the really intense feelings of not being able to be good enough or not being able to make it because I have nothing else to fall back on. It bothers me a lot that you can book a gig purely based on the way you look and not based on how you dance or how talented you are. People looked at me and they saw a tiny little blonde girl and it's like, oh of course, she does ballet. So people judged me way before I even started dancing, which kind of played to my advantage sometimes, because then I'd bust a move, and people would freak out. <laughs> They'd be like, what? <laughs> this tiny little girl dancing her butt off, not pointing her toes for once. So I currently work at Harvey's 30 to 40 hours a week to pay for my dance training at City Dance Corps. I absolutely hate serving people burgers all day and responding to really rude, horrible customers that forget that I'm a person when really I'm just a hungry dance student that needs to make money. To get downtown, I usually take the bus. So the bus is at least an hour, if not an hour and a half, depending on traffic. Once I get to Union Station, I have to walk from Union Station to Queen Street, which is about 40 minutes. But all in all, very worth it. I just wish I lived closer. There was a time where I felt like I needed to give myself a break because I was training and dancing like crazy and I ended up finding myself really, um, really down about my performances and my rehearsals because I felt like I wasn't giving it 100%. I will never stop dancing and if there's a day where my legs fall off, I'll just learn how to tut ferociously or whack incredibly for the rest of my life. And if my arms fall off, then <laughs> I'll just have to learn some really good head banging, like winking sequences and, and like tongue mouth moves. Dance is definitely worth every sacrifice I've made. I've met the most amazing people and I've done incredible shows and I've learned so much that I really don't think I'd be half as happy without it. So Harvey's and commuting and sleepless nights and sore bodies and bruises are totally worth it.